Hello and welcome to another update video about oil. Uh, interesting development today. We have seen a move to the downside here, quite a bearish reaction. Um, is basically just an initial reaction to, well, having five waves up because we can count five waves up of the low, which indicates to me personally that there's a good chance that the A wave is now done and that we could be heading down for a B wave before we move up in a C wave to complete the wave two. Just zooming out a little bit for everybody who's new. Um, a few days ago, we talked about this move that started here on the 6th of March to the downside it was probably just a wave one, the first impulse of a five wave move, which should take the price down lower, maybe into the mid 50 range, maybe a little lower. Um, all of that is embedded in a very large WXY structure. Yeah, I talked about that before, WXY, and then here, ABC, I'd be looking to, uh, I'm, I'm expecting that we currently are in this C wave. Um, a few days ago, we talked about, yeah, wave one was probably complete. The signal for us um, to highlight that was that the wave two um, broke above, or that the price broke to the upside of that descending trend line. I did formulate for you a target area that most likely, a wave two should reach. Now it hasn't reached it yet and we can count five waves up. What does that mean? So basically the combination of things that, uh, or combination of the following factors make me consider that this is only the wave A top. First of all, we can count five waves up, but we have an incomplete downside structure. Yeah, so having five waves up, not reached wave two resistance area and an incomplete downside structure indicates to me that we probably just topped in the A wave of the wave two. We're now heading down in B and would then still rally in a C wave. Key resistance here is between 78.44 and 83.19. Um, we, we are gonna look for something like that, ABC. What would be the support area for the B wave? That is really hard to say. B waves are some of the most diverse um, waves yeah, and most variable wa waves that there are. But the ideal target for me for such a B wave would be between 71.71 and 73.81. Somewhere here, price should reverse to the upside. So these are the three FIB levels, 50% retracement, 73.81, uh, 61.8 retracement, 72.94. 78.6 retracement, 71.71. Um, so ultimately, ideally, price goes into this region, will reverse, move into resistance, and then come down in a third wave, which would be quite a strong sell-off. Now let's do the same for WTI, just because the numbers might be slightly different, but everything else basically should be the same. Also here, if we talk about the, con the idea that um, the A wave was complete. We can count here five waves to the top as well. Now maybe coming down in a B before we rally in a C wave. Again, key resistance here for the wave two is actually between 72.69 and 77.46. And the B wave support hasn't been reached yet. So we're looking for ideally the area between 65.80 and 67.92 for them to reach the um, support area for the B wave and then to rally in a C wave to the upside to complete wave two before also here dropping further to the downside. So we are still on track. I think we just have a, a, a sub wave complete of that, let's say larger wave two correction. Um, by the way, other interpretations could be that either this large wave two is completely finished already. So that basically the bear market is already over, but that is far away from being likely. So I would want it to prove itself first by making higher highs, higher lows and breaking out of the ranges. We're not really there yet. And the other possibility is that the wave two already topped but then a little bit earlier than expected and would just emphasize the more the bearish view that I have on oil because if the wave two can't even reach an ideal target, then well, yeah, we, we are here in, in a, uh, on a on a very, well, the price is basically very, very um, weak yeah, and the downtrend is probably not um, over and it's quite a bearish 
setup and situation. Okay, that's my update about oil. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.